हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू टीचिंग पाठशाला टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट सम बेसिक पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग द ब्लाइग एंड एंड रिसेप्टर एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट वेरी सून आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टू वीडियोज रिगार्डिंग सेल सिग्नलिंग पाथवे एंड सेल सिग्नलिंग इंट्रोडक्शन इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो आई विल मैंशन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एज वेल एज इन द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट वॉट इज लाइग एंड एंड वॉट इज रिसेप्टर सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द लाइग एंड सो लाइग एंड आर मेनली द सिग्नलिंग मॉलिक्यूल्स which used to carry a signal and these ligands used to secrete it from that cells which are supposed to send the signals so signaling cells used to secrete a signaling molecules and that molecules is termed as a ligand now let's talk about the receptor so as we have seen that a signaling cell used to secrete a signaling molecules so as because this molecules is secreted from some other cells someone should be there to receive that molecule and that receiving property is very specific and the molecules which used to receive the signaling molecules that are known as a receptor and it used to bind with a specific ligand so we can say that the binding of ligand and receptor is very specific so what is the meaning of specificity so if you see the figure that is there in front of you you can see there is a three cells and a single signaling cell so the signaling cell is secreting a signaling molecules in a form of a ligand and the three uh, three cells that is present in our environment all of them are already having a kind of a receptor on their surface so if you see the diagram you can see that only the target cell which is having a receptor it is only capable to receive the ligand that is coming from a signaling cell so here's the question arises that why only this target cell is going to receive a ligand because this target cell is having a specific receptor if you see the shape of a receptor just for example if you see the shape of a receptor you can see that the ligand is going to fit in a very good way with this receptor and if you compare the other two cells that is the first cell and the third cell this ligand is not going to fit in both of this receptor in any condition and that is what called the specificity of receptor and the ligand it is not compulsory that every time a structure or the uh, conformation of the receptor will going to decide the specificity no it may be of anything it may be a amino acid composition it may be a protein nature it may be anything so the specificity is always there between the ligand and the receptor interaction now the next question is that what happen after the ligand and receptor binding or interaction so first of all whenever there is a binding between the ligand and a receptor there is a conformational change inside the receptor and that is what going to produce a signaling inside a cell the second point is about the specificity a receptor recognize just one or few specific ligand and a ligand binding to just one or a few target receptor this thing we have already discussed in the first slide the next topic is the type of ligands so for categorizing the ligands there are many basic things but we have categorized here only on the two to three basis so if we talk about the types of ligand there are total of a two type of a ligand first is the membrane bound signaling molecule or the signal molecule which is also termed as a ligand and second is the secretory signal molecules we are first going to talk about the membrane bound signal molecules so from the name only we can say that the signal molecules which remain bound to the cell surface that is producing it and that is what called the membrane bound signal molecules and they do the signaling with a contact dependent pathway so this kind of a signal molecule or ligands they will not travel to some other location they will remain bound to the cell surface and they will do a functioning with the help of a contact dependent signaling pathway or a contact dependent signaling and this kind of a property we are going to see in a juxta cline signaling because there also there is a contact dependent signaling so it is representing the same condition so if we take a example of the membrane bound signal molecule uh, signaling then it will be a juxta cline signaling the next type of ligand is the secretory signal ligand that means the ligand which used to secrete from the cell surface and they will going to travel to the place where the specific receptor is present so the ligand or the signal molecules that is secreted from the cell they are going to present in a extracellular environment so they are also termed as a extracellular signal molecules and they are very specific for a specific receptor that is present on a target cell let's see the basis of the second categorizing property that is we are categorizing the ligand again into a three category depending upon the distance they have to travel and these are mainly the secretory signal molecules because the molecules which are secreted from a signaling cell they are only going to travel to some other places the molecules which are bound to the membrane they will not going to travel at any location 
so on the basis of that i mean the amount of distance they have to travel they have divided into three more categories these are like endocrine signaling molecules or ligand paracrine ligand and the autocrine ligand in the previous slide we have already seen the endocrine paracrine and the autocrine signaling so if a uh, autocrine signaling is occurring at that time autocrine ligand will act on the particular receptor and if there is a occurrence of a endocrine pathway or signaling there will be the presence of a endocrine ligand i think this thing should be clear in your mind that if uh, according to the pathway that is occurring depending upon that the ligand will be decided if it is a paracrine pathway or signaling the paracrine ligand will be there and if it is a endocrine pathway the endocrine ligand will be there so what is the endocrine ligand paracrine ligand and the autocrine ligand so the ligand that is secreted from a particular cell mainly the signaling cell if that ligand has to travel from a blood stream to reach a location where its receptor is present that type of ligand will be termed as a endocrine because it is taking the help of a blood stream if it is a paracrine ligand then the two cells will be in a close proximity and the signaling cell will secrete a ligand and that ligand will going to bind to a receptor that is present on a target cell but in a close proximity so that ligand will be termed as a paracrine ligand and if we talk about the autocrine ligand then a signaling cell will produce the autocrine factor or the ligand and that factor is going to bind on the same cell receptor and that is what called the autocrine ligands so we have seen the two category of division now we are going to talk about the third category or the third division category so depending on the nature of the extracellular signal molecules it is divided into two more categories these are like lipophilic molecules or the hydrophilic molecules so this category will going to tell you about the nature of the ligand that means what is the composition of that ligand either it is made up of a lipid or it is made up of a hydrophobic molecules or something else let's first talk about the lipophilic molecules or the ligand so the lipophilic molecules or ligands are those molecules which are having a composition that is rich in a lipid that means they are having the ability to cross the plasma membrane because the plasma membrane is a lipid bilayer so as because these molecules is also made up of a lipid so they are having the capability to cross the plasma membrane and bind to the receptors that are present inside a cell that is termed as a intracellular receptors and about this intracellular receptor we are going to talk in our next slide so first of all you should understand the meaning of the lipophilic molecules lipophilic means the lipid loving so the molecules which are lipid in nature they are going to cross the plasma membrane very easily and they are going to bind to the intracellular receptor of a cell depending upon the nature of a ligand the second type of ligand is the hydrophilic ligand so what is the meaning of the hydrophilic molecules or ligand hydro means water philic means loving so the molecules which are water loving they are termed as a hydrophilic molecules and as because they are hydrophilic they are not going to cross the plasma membrane because plasma membrane is made up of a lipid and somehow the hydrophilic molecules used to repel the lipid composition molecules so it is not going to cross the plasma membrane so the receptor for the hydrophilic molecules they are mainly going to present on the cell surface in case of a lipophilic we have seen that uh, the, for the lipophilic molecules the receptor that is there they mainly used to present inside the cell because lipophilic molecules have the capability to cross the plasma membrane but if we talk about the hydrophilic molecules they can't cross the plasma membrane so that's why the receptor for the hydrophilic molecules that is present on the cell surface so that these molecules don't have to cross the plasma membrane and by binding to the receptor they used to do a conformational change in the receptor and that will going to send a signal inside a cell with this we have studied that on what basis the ligand mainly used to divide or categorized so we have seen the membrane bound signal molecules secretory signal molecules endocrine paracrine and the autocrine signal molecules as well as the lipophilic and the hydrophilic molecules now let's see the examples of some signal molecules which used to interact with the cell surface receptor or you can say that these ligands are the hydrophilic ligands as because they are interacting with the cell surface receptor so the examples are like epinephrine glucagon insulin gastrin secretin and acth the second example is of the lipophilic ligand which has the ability to interact with the cytosolic or the nuclear receptor that means they are having the capability to cross the plasma membrane so the examples are the first category is of the steroid hormones which include the progesterone testosterone cortisol and aldosterone and if we talk about the non steroid hormones these are like thyroid hormones and the retinoic acid 
the example of all these two kind of a ligand is very important because sometime in CSIR net they used to ask questions like which of the ligand used to interact with the cytosolic or the nuclear receptor. So at that time you should remember all these examples then only you can able to answer the question. With this we have completed the portion of ligand. Now let's see what are the type of receptor. So the first type is the intracellular receptor and the second type is the cell surface receptor. Intracellular receptor means this kind of a receptor they are found mainly in the cytoplasm or in the nucleus and if you talk about the cell surface receptor they are mainly found in the plasma membrane they are bound to the out, outside of the cell surface so that the ligand can bind and interact with them so in this way the intracellular receptor they are going to bind with the lipophilic ligand because these receptors are already present inside the cell either it is in a cytoplasm or in a nucleus so the ligand which is having the capability to cross the lipid bilayer they are only going to bind to the this kind of receptor that is an intracellular receptor and the ligand which is not capable to cross the lipid bilayer they are going to bind with the cell surface receptor that means the hydrophobic ligand sorry hydrophilic ligand they are going to bind with the cell surface receptor and lipophilic ligand they will going to bind the intracellular receptor this topic will be going to continue in the next part of this video that is a type of receptor in which we are going to deal with the intracellular receptor as well as the cell surface receptor types and in that we are going to study about the different type of receptor and their mode of action. If you are new to my channel you can subscribe my channel for getting more different videos on CSI and net git and different exam and along with that don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will be notified with my latest video uploads. You can share this video with your friends who are preparing for CSI and net exam and if this video was helpful for you then don't forget to hit the like button thank you